Hey there, welcome back to this little boat. Uh, this video is going to be dedicated to the electrical systems on a boat. I've noticed several um, blog entries lately and, and other emails about just very um, basic uh, kind of electrical systems uh, on the boat. So we're going to kind of start from stem to stern on this one and kind of look at what kind of electrical systems you have on a typical uh, cruising vessel and um, how you can maintain those systems. Um, so for starters, there's, there's basically two sources of power that are coming into the boat. There is power from the dock, um, usually a 110 uh, a voltage outlet that comes in either 30 amp or 50 amp connections. And we'll go out on the dock here in just a little bit so you can look and see what that looks like. Um, then you have your DC or your direct current that runs from your batteries. And that's going to power most of the, the systems on your boat. Uh, your, um, your bilge, your lights, your, um, your water pump. Um, all of those things will get, will get uh, powered by your battery system. And again, how that, those are charged, one of basically two ways. They're going to be charged either by a uh, some kind of power coming into the boat like a, uh, a battery charger that would convert the 110 power into a 12 volt that would charge your batteries or by starting the engine and the alternator which is a generator would in fact go ahead and go ahead and charge your batteries that way the third way is also through an auxiliary uh, type of apparatus, either a wind turbine or solar panels that um, go through a charge control unit so that they don't overcharge your batteries and cause damage to them. So that's how electricity comes into the boat and we're going to show you uh, the wiring packages of this particular boat so you can kind of see where all that goes. All right, so thanks for tuning in today and uh, hope this helps you uh, do the wiring. We'll go ahead side. and start with uh, the circuit panel that we have here on this boat. This one is laid out so that we have the all of the uh, AC controls here. Uh, there's also an AC disconnect here. These are for uh, the two lines that we saw outside, two 30 amp lines that are coming into the boat. And we can shut one or the other off. And they're also noted here on the on the panel. We can see their charge status. Um, uh, coming into the boat this way and then you've got two banks of direct current or DC that are coming from the battery charger. This is our charge controller that uh, can do wind or solar. They both wired for that right now. And then you have your, your uh, battery switch over on this side which can control this boat, particular boat has uh, a set of four batteries, one starter and three house. Um, that are connected in, in series. So that means basically they, that the, the, all of the positives are connected together and all of the, the neutrals are all connected together. And in that process, they, they work as one. And uh, that's what the series process means. They're all connected to one. So that's basically what the panel looks like. This is our wind turbine control. We can shut the wind turbine off um, if we don't uh, you know, need it or for running the engine, for example, you won't need that. So you can shut that off. So that's the basic system here. Now we're gonna go behind the panel and we're gonna kind of show you how the wiring all comes together with that. All right, we're out on the dock and this basically is a 50 amp connection. You can see where it is hooked up to the outlet here. It is running through a splitter because most boats have two um, 30 amp uh, ports in their boats so that they have uh, two supplies that come into them. So uh, you can see there's, there's two 30 amp connections that go up to the 50 amp that comes out of the tower on the dock. That's going to be supplying the boat with your household current. Right, this is the other type of of household current that's coming into your boat. This tower, you can see right here, has got the 230s hooked up into um, pods 
and that's going to be coming into the boat. Uh, All right, before the, we get into the panel, let's talk about some of the things that you'll see when you're in there. The, this is marine grade 10 gauge um, wire that is used to uh, have the basically the, the 30 amp system runs on this. It's, it's a heavy gauge wire. It'll take up to 600 volts through it. So it is what you use when you are working with the 110 system. Uh, it's it's a very thick thick wire as you can as you can see maybe right down there there's a lot of strands in there it, it is a very thick wire that is used when we are doing wiring work on on the uh, the heavy volume system the other things you're going to see are are um, 14 and 16 gauge wire used primarily for the DC system it's a thinner core thinner wire uh, still carrying a lot of electricity through it. This is another wire that is common. Uh, it's a linked wire because there, uh, in DC systems there is no necessary for a ground. Um, so you basically see just the black and the red together like that. These are a fused coupling that uh, would be used for connecting um, DC uh, lights. The next thing you're going to see are, are breakers. There are, there are breakers on the panel. Um, this one, if you can see the little number there, is a 20 amp breaker. It's basically going to pop or disconnect at 27 amps. Um, so this is something that you would place uh, perhaps on a unit that, that um, uh, doesn't need a lot of power, like lights, for example. That would be a good breaker for that. All right, so that's basically the wiring that we're going to see when we turn around here. Uh, I'm going to show you how they're all connected okay, together. Okay, here we have the back of the panel. Uh, we will start with our AC controls over here. Now, you can see these are all the, all the positives are connected to the AC controller right here. All your black positives are right, right there. And they, and they run to through this system and then they they are coming right out of the power cables for those two connectors that do the AC system you can see there's there's a white neutral and there's a black power that come through there the ground the green green is running back through this bus which is your grounding bus again AC must be grounded so all of your AC using um, appliances have to be grounded through this bus and then their white is connected also their neutrals are connected to another bus on this panel so this is basically your your AC system and then those blacks are coming right into your fuse panel and then right back out again so you have power coming coming in for example right up here power is coming in and it's going to the very top one, which is shore number one, and it's feeding these three breakers right here. And then that power is going out to the appliance, running down through that wiring and down into the, and around the boat and through the woods and back again. This, this whole section here, this is your DC sec side of the house. And again, you can see all the power coming in from your battery supply. You've got, positives up here connecting into the battery supply and then you've got your your reds or your neutrals coming into everything else and then those are being fed through this system back out through here and um, that is creating all of your power going in so you've got breakers that again power comes in power goes out to through the breaker to the unit that you've got. These are called buses that connect all of those things together. Now you have some, what, what I refer to as mini buses too, that do small things. For example, this, this bus uh, does everything upstairs in the helm control. You've got uh, your radar, you've got all this kind of stuff kind of hooked up via one separate bus. And then you've got uh, like port side cabin lights are all hooked up to to this bus up here 
um, it's a good idea when you're doing this stuff to label everything. Now, if you do have, I showed you where the charge controller was outside. This is the really the hub of the charge controller. You've got grounding and power coming into this controller and then power going out to the battery system. So that's basically how that uh, works. Uh, again, there, some, some people install main brake busters so that you can shut off all the power to the boat at one time. This could be a security issue for if you're leaving the boat and you don't want anybody to, to be able to just click a button and get your boat started. You can hide one of these inside the circuit panels as well. Um, so that's basically what the wiring package looks like. So again, you've got all of your DC systems connected with black or red cabling. And then you have all of your AC systems, alternating current systems, done with a ground, a neutral, and uh, positive wiring. So that's, that's how that is all put together. And then again, they go, everything should run through some type of a breaker. If you find that you have a breaker that is constantly popping or causing you problems, check it, just pull it out and you can check what kind of amperage is on it. If it is less than, than adequate, go ahead and put a new one in. Um, you know, usually 30 amps is about all, about the highest breaker that you'll see on a boat. Um, and if it's taking more than 30 amps, you want to find out well, what else is attached to that system or what, what power draw is causing it to pop so much. Um, so the, just some, some recommendations for you on that. So I hope this helped in getting you started with wiring and understanding how the wiring packages work. It can be very, very complex and, and a little crazy. Um, your best idea is to label everything. You can just take a piece of paper and write what it is on there and use a piece of tape to kind of cover it and put it over that wire so that you understand what it's uh, what it is so next time somebody comes and messes with your system they'll know exactly what that is and especially if you've got systems that you're running for long distances um, we've had to move some things out of this area so I've got labeling over here for it also and then as it comes across the top here let more labeling so that we know that what that item might be. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions or comments um, about the show. Uh, we're always happy to, to answer individual questions, so just let me know. I greatly appreciate your, uh, your viewing and uh, hope this helped a lot. Signing off, and we'll see you soon. Bye.